Hi there, I'm Tim, inventor of the mountain trike. We're here in the park in Nantwich in Cheshire and we're filming this video to show you the basics of how the mountain trike works and how to ride it. So I hope you find it helpful. Let's go. Okay, so in this first clip I'm going to show you how to drive the trike using its unique lever drive. So the main way you'll drive it is by pushing both levers together. So you pull back and push forwards, pull back, push forwards, pull back, push forwards. And you can push left and right independently. And you can even push single handed by pushing the steering lever on its own. And that's how you push the trike forwards. Ok, so in this next clip I'm going to explain the steering for the mountain trike. Basically it's operated by this lever, which you pivot left to go left and right to go right. And this lever turns the back wheel. So again, pivoting left to go left and right to go right. And that's the basics of how the trike steers. In this section I'm going to explain how to do some really tight turns on the trike. So the way to do that is to point the steering lever full lock the way you want to go. So pointing all the way to the right to go right. Then you can pull that brake lever on as well and push with the outside lever which makes you spin on the spot. In this section I'll explain the brakes for the mountain trike. We offer two alternative setups which are independent braking and dual braking. This particular trike has the independent braking setup where there is a brake lever on each handle which works the left and right hand side brakes independently. We also offer the dual setup which is where one brake lever operates the brakes on both sides together. With both setups it's important to remember that the brakes are very powerful but they're also very controllable so you're able to drag the brakes gently and slow down in a nice controlled manner. However if you do brake too hard you have these anti-tip wheels on the front which prevent you from tipping forwards. The other feature is the parking brake which is operated by pulling the brake lever and then pushing this clip over to the side which locks the brake on. So now I'll show you how the brakes work in action. The other great thing about the brakes is that you can use them to help you climb steep hills by simply applying the brakes between pushes to prevent you from rolling backwards. So with the brakes applied you're able to pull the levers back, then release the brakes and push forwards, put the brakes on, come back, 
release and push forwards, pull the brakes on, come back, release, and so on. Also at any point you're able to put the brakes on and have a rest or put the parking brakes on and when you're ready to go again just release the brake levers and push forwards. This is just a quick demonstration now of how the anti-tip wheels prevent you from tipping forwards if you pull the brakes too hard. In this section I'm going to explain how to go downhill safely on the mountain trike. So to begin with it's very important to make sure you're completely comfortable with the, the brakes and the steering on nice flat ground before progressing onto hills. And then I'd recommend sort of starting gently on a nice easy slope and pointing straight down it, holding the steering nice and straight and controlling your speed using the brakes. Okay, so now you've mastered going downhill in a nice straight line, you can then move on to the fun bit and get some nice carving slalom turns in using the steering. It's important to begin with, of course, to not steer too much for the speed you're going, so just make nice gentle adjustments to the steering lever and make nice gentle turns. And then gradually you can build up to wider and wider slaloms. So it's also important as well to uh, lean your body into the corners, so lean right to go right and left to go left and this helps keep you nice and stable on the trike. So now I'll show you how to do some slalom turns. 